Hi guys, and welcome to Home by Nico, Hebrides edition. An hour before you start to cook, remove from the fridge to bring to room temperature the pork, the prune compote, and the cheese, okay? And that will help bring all those dormant flavours back to life, okay? Pour yourself a glass of wine, get the tunes on, and we'll get cracking into this box. So let's get into the starter. The starter here, this is a Hebrides, it's a celebration of Scotland, and we've got to use smoked salmon. Crack it open, you'll find lots of goodies. You got your smoked salmon, a lovely fennel salad, your dill creme fraiche, and separately, but most importantly, you have your cucumber chutney. Okay, that's a fantastic starter, no matter how you plate it up. I'll be plating one up, I'll try and do it in a chefy manner, so if you're doing it, you can try and impress whoever you're with. So the smoked salmon has been brushed with um, the Isle of Harris gin. Right, so but what we're gonna do first is we're gonna place the salmon onto the plate. So these beautiful fingers, already marinated, okay? Just place it to the left hand side there. Lovely stuff. Second of all, you have this fresh, crunchy fennel salad. Fennel's so not something that everyone has in their house. It's normally something you get in the restaurant menus, but it really should be used more. Here we've dressed it with a little bit of good olive oil, a little bit of dill. Okay, I'm just going to place that as contrast to the soft textures in the dish. There you go, look at that, look. How can that not taste nice? Look, beautiful stuff. Okay, for the cucumber chutney. Chutneys are normally done with root veg or tomatoes. But this, this bad boy is something that will change your mind. Um, it's, it's fantastic and it's very, very sweet and sour. And it brings the best out of cucumber, I believe. So we're going to do a little quenelle, two spoons. So flake through this is fresh apple. So apple and cucumber, they're friends. Some mustard, mustard and apple, they're friends. Uh, and a little bit of dill, cucumber and dill, they're friends. So they're all friends here. Lovely. So you get a nice wee quenelle of the cucumber chutney. So for the, the creme fraiche and dill, because you've got lots of crunchy flavours in there, um, and lots of, lots, lots of sharp flavours, we've got this wee little bit of uh, um, creme fraiche, and that just cools everything down and brings it in balance. So as you can see, it's a very chefy dish. So for a little chefy trick, what we're going to do, we get a bit of hot water and a spoon and just manipulate the shape of the creme fraiche on the plate. Just so it looks as pretty as, as, as possible. Okay. There you go, just separate them off. Go on then. So that dish can be enjoyed hot or cold. Um, if you're going to enjoy it hot, then just simply place the, the salmon into the oven. It's set at 180 for about five minutes and then just serve exactly the same. But I personally, I really like it cold, just like this. So that's your Scottish smoked salmon, your cucumber and apple chutney, dill creme fraiche and crunchy fennel salad. Enjoy. Right, we're going to get into the main event here, which is going to be the pork belly. We have layers of pork belly, a cheeky layer of black pudding, and then another layer of pork belly encasing into a perfect cube of delicious food. Underneath, we're going to try and represent the Scotch broth, lots of beans and pulses uh, and leeks. So it's very Scottish, very, very enjoyable. Here, are you. Here we have it, okay? So before we get started, we're going to place a pan onto the stove um, and we're going for a medium-high heat because we're going to try and get a wee crispy skin onto the pork. So that, placing the pan onto the stove, to get to a medium heat, you're talking about 90 seconds. I've had that on for 90 seconds, adding just a wee touch of oil. Okay, so we crack this bad boy open. Okay, we take one of the pork belly presses. Obviously, these have been out of the fridge as I instructed earlier on for, for about an hour, okay? Place it skin side down. And you want to hear that gentle sizzle, okay? You obviously will have two. I'm cooking just the one right now. Uh, while we are caramelizing the pork belly, what we're gonna do into a small saucepan, we're gonna bring it, the ragu up to a gentle heat, okay? So, large pieces of leek, cracking root veg, pearl barley, pulses and all manner of good things, okay? That goes into a small saucepan. After the pork press has been caramelizing for about maybe two to three minutes, you want to turn it over and you want to see a nice caramelization. And that's the color you're after. Look at that. Okay, now we're good to place it straight into the oven for about between 12 to 15 minutes. The pork belly and the black pudding is already cooked. However, what we're doing is we're, we're, we're crisping it up and we're uh, heating it through. That's all we're doing there. While that's heating, what we're going to do is we're going to warm up the, the ragu, the vegetable ragu. 
lovely stuff. Our pet pressed pork belly has been in the oven for about 12 minutes. It's ready to come out, okay? You won't overcook it if you leave it in the oven, it's fine. So I want to get, make sure I've got everything ready, everything in place for when we come to plate up, okay? Take your pork belly out of the oven. Hot stuff. Lovely. What we want to do before we, we plate up, and this is a little chef's a little chef's trick because what comes with this is it's a, a rich and hearty ragu. We've got our um, really filling and meaty slab of pork. Look at that. You're going for a going for a nap after that. To counteract that, we've got some crunchy uh, pork crackling and a beautiful, really is beautiful um, prune compote. You have your ragu, the beautiful big leek rondelles. Leeks are underrated as a vegetable. We've treated them with respect here. We've roasted them with the skins on and cut them into big like that. Look at that. Oh, and the sauce. Okay. So to complete this dish, crack open these little pots, little pots of joy. You've got your pork crackling there and this prune chutney. So with the prune chutney, take a, take a little spreading of it and get that onto the top, okay? Nice and gentle, right over the top there. Lovely stuff. And then, be very liberal with your crackling because you'll put the glue from the, the prune onto the top of the pork and it's stuck, okay? And that there, is your pork, black pudding, prune, compote, and crispy crackling pressy. Okay, we've got two very, very nice sides here. When we do our sides, we do little celebrations of certain vegetables. So, a little celebration of Scotland, you've got to use Swede. Swede is, in my opinion, vastly underrated. And we put it in here with the potatoes. So it's a little potato salad with saibies, not spring onions, saibies. So we just place that all on the tray. Potatoes, roast potatoes, pickled swede and saibies. We're going to put this in the oven alongside the beetroot for like 15 to 18 minutes. With the beetroot, crack it open, okay? It's a good idea to remove the walnuts, okay, the candied walnuts. These have been uh, cooked in sugar um, and they've been like, roasted off so that they're, they're outstanding. You don't want to overcook them. So remove them um, and then place the beetroot onto your oven tray, okay? That whole tray just goes in to the oven for, as I said, between 15 to 18 minutes, okay? It's just to warm through, everything in them is already cooked. Um, the oven is preheated at 180 degrees. Okay, so the, the vegetables will be ready now. Beautiful sides. Remember at HomeX, we like to put as much effort into the sides as we do into the main event. We're gonna be taking the potatoes. You can use a bowl, I'm going to use this little pot um, because I'm going to dress it. So like a normal potato salad that you have with a barbecue, this one is dressed in a roux, it's a shellfish roux. So in, in it goes, and I'm going to toss it around, coating all of those potatoes in that, in that sauce. Oh, look at it, it's looking good. And then as soon as the heat of the potatoes hits that sauce, it melts down, it coats, and it fills the room with the heady smells of, of saffron, of garlic, and of course of that shellfish. All we're doing here is we're simply plating up our potato salad in the bowl. Potato salad will obviously been dressed in that incredible roux. We want to see the sides, we want to see the pickled swede. It really is a celebration of our island. So there you have your potato salad with sides and swede dressed in a shellfish roux. Enjoy. For a roasted beetroot, it's been tossed already in a lovely um, walnut dressing. We have those candied walnuts and we're going to pair that with blue cheese. What we're going to do is I'm going to put some of the blue cheese dressing in a little tamper proof tubs, new and improved. I'm going to put some of the soft blue cheese dressing onto the plate. Okay, use the back of your spoon. A nice circular motion. Okay. And we're going to place the beetroot Careful it doesn't go on your jumper because it will stain forever. So pile them high. Look at that. It's looking lovely. Beetroot is incredible for you. It's full of antioxidants. We've already got some of the blue cheese there. You can put some on top as well. Okay, just to dress it. Just to give it a wee double whammy of, the, of your blue cheese dressing. But to really finish it off, these cracking candied walnuts. That's the, 
That's the money maker. That's what's going to impress your guests. And make this salad three star. There we have our salt baked beetroot with a blue cheese royale and candied walnuts. Enjoy. So here we have our incredible mulled cheddar. We've obviously taken that out an hour before cooking. All we still have left to do is to take it out of the packaging and place it onto the plate. Okay. We had to include a cheese when celebrating Scotland. Okay, and we have right here a pickle. It's uh, very similar to a pickle that you've tried before, but we have made this using, again, root veg that we grow so well in Scotland because there's so much rain. All that's left to do here is to serve this fantastic house-made relish on the side. Enjoy. For the dessert, it cannot be simpler. Simply remove the lid and, and serve. What we have here is a cheeky tipsy layered with whiskey in it, okay? On the base layer, we have sea buckthorn, which is an incredibly antioxidant berry that grows in our shorelines. A fantastic whiskey cream. And on top, toasted almonds and stem ginger. And enjoy. So there you have our Home by Nico Hebrides menu. A one-time special. Enjoy.